What is up guys? Welcome back to the shop. Hit a thousand subscribers last week. Got really excited to make a bunch of videos and then I came down with a cold. So I have got quite the sniffles and coughs going on. I apologize if you guys are hearing that, but I've been kind of down and out and not doing a whole lot. So I wanted to get you guys a video. I wanted to talk about something. So here we are. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment. Um, let me know where you're from and what you do for a trade or whatever. Without further ado, I want to talk about my Occidental uh, tool belt. So this is a very expensive tool belt for somebody that does not work in this trade. Um, I believe these are the 808, let me think of this, 8089, so 8089 Oxylite seven bag framers. Um, I bought these back in May of 2020. I was building a shed just before lumber prices went like super high. And I, you know, I was like, I'm young, I make enough money now to really buy a nice tool bag um, and this will last me the rest of my life. So I kind of bought it, set it up how I'd like and I wanted to share that with you guys. Some of the things um, kind of flowed in and out. I haven't done a whole lot of framing work since I really renovated my house. So like another year later after I bought these. Um, so it's been about two years or so since I've really done a lot of framing work. So these just hang up and I constantly have taken these tools out. but. Try to put them all back, and this is kind of the setup I have for when I do need to do some framing work, or if somebody you know asks me to come help them with something, this is what I would grab. Um, so, first thing I want to mention, um, these have a really nice thick leather tool belt. Um, it's very it carries weight really well. I just personally like the idea of suspenders better. I don't want to wreck my lower back by um, having that all that weight right on my hips so i've kind of decided that i wanted to have suspenders right from the beginning i just bought these cheap uh clc suspenders i think i got them probably at tractor supply for maybe 10 15 dollars and they're kind of getting brittle now just the elastic's not as great but they work um they're just clip-on ones i could see why that would be a problem if one of those broke loose it wouldn't be the most uh, enjoyable situation for me wearing them and that coming back and hitting me in the face. But they work great for now, and I'm going to keep rocking them for now. Um, but that's I kind of leave them hanging up by these, so it's clearly working thus far. So I like the suspenders. Um, I did make a modification to the bag when I first bought it. It comes with a leather tape loop here, or a tape tape measure pouch and I didn't like that because this is kind of the main pocket this is my right hand side bag so this is kind of the main pocket and the one that I'm going to be grabbing small hand tools out of frequently pencil whatever um, I just realized I took a pencil out and so let me put it back in there so you guys can see that um, I took that leather so I cut that leather off gave me a lot more access in and out of here because it was kind of big it would stick out like this and kind of block a lot of these tool loops in here so I did that and I always just keep my tape measure down in here so let's kind of start here we'll work that way um, I keep the Stanley Fat Max 25 foot tape always and I always take the uh, belt clip off um, I'm not a framer so you guys can roast me down in the comments if you are if you don't think what I do or what I have in here is very applicable but for when I'm building stuff just two by four -ish framing this all works great. So anyways, take that belt clip off. It lets it slip in and out of here really easily. Um, and I like that pouch because it's right where my right hand can just reach down and grab it super easy. Um, typically, I'll keep an extra set of fasteners in here. Whatever I'm working with, nails or screws at the time, that's where they will end up. Um, <clears throat> this big open area in here is perfect for keeping like an impact. So I typically use the M. 12 when I'm working but I'll just throw that in there uh, and just kind of toss it in and then I can carry it around pull it out and it's not permanently living in there but it does work really well for carrying it so that's the M18 impact you just saw in there so just for an idea of size um, I keep a big heavy demolition screwdriver you can use it for prying this Milwaukee one is actually made for uh, HVAC more it's my understanding that this knife is for cutting ductwork. Um, I've never used it for that. And it's got this square uh, shank. So it seems to me stronger than the other uh, round shanked regular demolition screwdriver. So I just keep one of those in there. It's got a great end for beating on. Um, probably when I built that shed and actually did the framing in my house, I didn't own this. But I bought one 
after all of that. So now that's why it's in here. Um, I always keep a razor knife. Fits perfectly in that pouch right there. Uh, just a DeWalt carpet cutting style knife. Um, fits really well in there and rides really nicely. And then just like a beater chisel just for knocking stuff out or if you you know something didn't quite fit you gotta shave a piece off or pop a nail out just something to beat on this old chisel I don't even know what the maker model is and I always keep a nail punch just a craftsman one I needed some and I just was at Lowe's and saw that they had a three pack of these so I just keep the size that fits better with the nails that I'm using most often um, right in there and then I keep a fat pencil, carpenter's pencil, and just a skinny number two pencil. And this is kind of open, just whatever I need. Sometimes I'll put side cutters in there. Sometimes I'll put like end nippers, um, you know, whatever it seems like I'm going to need at the time. So on the other side, my, this would be my left hand side. Uh, I keep a framing square, just an empire framing square. Um, uh, I'm not exactly sure what size this is, but... I don't know. I guess it goes up to six inches there. So if it's considered a six inch square, I don't know, but it fits perfectly in there. It's actually designed for that. There's this little grooved slot here. Um, fits really well in there. This is where I keep all my main fasteners. So whatever I'm really using will stay in this pocket. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little out of frame here. We'll go in this pocket and then here as well. So like if I'm using, uh, I don't know, one and a half inch nails for sheathing and then two and a half inch for joining two by fours or something. That's kind of how I will set them up or three inch or whatever. Um, I keep a center punch. I'm not really sure why I have this in here, but maybe for just making marks. I don't know. I haven't really uh, used it a whole lot, but it's a place that I can put it. Sometimes depending on what I'm doing, I need a level. So it fits in here nicely. Just this little kind of I-beam style torpedo level with the magnets from Empire. It's nothing special. Um, typically rough framing, you don't really need it, but sometimes it's nice to just have it for reference. I'll often pull that out uh, if it's going to just be in the way for whatever work I'm doing. And then up top here, I just keep a chalk box. Um, just this cheap DeWalt one. Just kind of bought the cheapest one I could get at the time. But that's just snapping a chalk line make sure you're making straight cuts on sheeting type material and I have a few bits in here just a holder for the Makita bits this is a magnetic so you slide it over the end I'm sure it'll show up on the uh, DeWalt or it'll still kind of work somewhat on the DeWalt but that will just hold your fastener so you can line them up easier I'm actually not sure why I have DeWalt fast or uh, bits in here but just that, and then I have the, is that a 5 16 or quarter, quarter inch uh, nut driver. Probably for, from doing uh, metal roofing, <clears throat> why that's still in there. Anyways, that's kind of that side. This pocket doesn't really get used because it's a similar concept as I was saying with the tape measure side. This is kind of in the way, so that just, you know, I'll kind of use like, if I have miscellaneous things, I kind of just toss them in there and they'll end up fitting a lot better. So that's that. I have one of these uh, cat's paw type pry bar type dealios in there. Um, really good for helping get nails and screws pulled out when they're, you know, you miss, put them in the wrong spot or whatever. Wow, I'm so sick. I apologize, guys. I'm all stuffed up, but we're here near in the end here. And then I keep. The star of the show, stiletto, 14 ounce titanium hammer, I believe, I guess I could measure it. This isn't the full length one that you normally see. Yeah, 16 inch. So 16 inch, 14 ounce stiletto. Uh, these are super cool. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. I know my, a lot of my uh, subscribers are HVAC electrical type guys, but um, this is made of titanium, so the theory is, and I just love a good wooden handle, so, I mean, that's just a good looking tool, but, um, the theory is you can swing this faster, so although it's not heavy like a normal framing, you know, 28 ounce framing hammer, because you can swing this faster, it actually effectively gives you very similar driving force, and it's easier on your body, It's my understanding. Um, I got this as a gift from my mom, so I'm kind of, 
kind of my heirloom tool. I'm just excited to have it. I try to take good care of the handle. Um, I've done demo work with it. You can see all the paint and everything on it, but I do keep t take good care of it, but I still use it like a tool should be used. So I keep that on the loop in the back. I don't know if you guys saw me pull that off uh, from here, but there's like the accidental branded leather stuff. And this stuff is all just so high quality. And I'm, I'm excited to have this. I don't have a giant use for it, but I can feel cool when I do uh, have a use for it. So that's what it's all about. Oh, and this uh, hammer loop up front here, if I'm working kind of right in front of myself doing really small stuff, I will um, just throw this in here so I don't have to reach around my back constantly. If I, you know, I've got to work with my hands for a minute and then I got to drive some nails, I will slip this into there and it does fit well in there um rides in there pretty nicely actually i don't like it in there constantly because it kind of hits my knees and swinging but that's what i got so if you are a tr by trade carpenter comment below and let me know what i could add to this um or what you think uh of my setup here and yeah leave a comment subscribe if you're not already hopefully i don't sound so stuffed up the next video we post thanks guys